the Mitsubishi A6M0, a long-range fighter aircraft, served as the backbone of the Imperial Japanese Navy from 1940 to 1945. It was known by the Allies as Zeke. Under the leadership of Jiro Horikoshi, Mitsubishi's design team defied expectations, creating a lightweight, long-range fighter aircraft. The name Zero comes from Type Zero Carrier Fighter, indicating the last digit of the Imperial year when it was introduced, 2600. The A6M was a marvel of design. It featured a low monoplane wing, an enclosed cockpit, and retractable landing gear. However, its structural design was just the beginning. The Zero was renowned for its performance, it was fast, agile, and boasted an impressive operational range. Despite its light structure, the A6M was heavily armed. It carried two 7.7mm machine guns, two 20mm cannons in the wings, and could ferry two 132-pound bombs. The Zero wasn't just a fighter, it was a multi-role aircraft capable of bomber escort and light strike missions. The A6M2, introduced in 1940, was the first production model of the Zero, boasting a maximum speed of 331 miles per hour and an extraordinary range of 1,930 miles. It was this version that most of the Allied forces first encountered at the beginning of the Pacific War. The A6M3, introduced in 1941, saw various modifications for better performance and versatility. The most noticeable change was the clip wing tips for better roll rate and maneuverability. The A6M3A, a subtype, carried upgraded 20mm cannons, and saw the return of the folding wing tips for improved range. By 1943, the A6M5 model appeared. This model improved the plane's speed and climb rate, but due to thicker wing skinning, the folding wingtips were removed. It was the most produced version of the Zero. The A6M6 introduced self-sealing fuel tanks, and some variants had a water methanol injection system for increased horsepower. The A6M7, introduced in 1944, was specifically designed for dive bombing missions while retaining its fighter capabilities. It marked the Zero's evolution into a more flexible combat aircraft. The A6M8 was the final version, entering production just before the end of the war. It had an improved engine and redesigned wings, but due to the circumstances, very few were produced. The Zero first saw combat in 1940 during the early stages of the war in China. With its impressive range and agility, it consistently outperformed most opposing aircraft, establishing air superiority for Japan. The Zero made its name after the infamous attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941, where it played a significant role. This event showcased the Zero's capabilities and earned it a fearsome reputation. As the war advanced, the Zero faced increasing challenges. Newer American fighters like the F-6F Hellcat and the F-4U Corsair began to challenge the Zero's dominance. These aircraft could match or exceed the Zero's performance, and their pilots were trained to exploit the Zero's weaknesses, such as its lack of armor and self-sealing fuel tanks. Yet, the Zero continued to serve valiantly, adapting its roles as the war evolved, with the Zero eventually being used for kamikaze missions in the later stages of the conflict. The A6M Zero wasn't just a machine of war. It was a symbol of Japanese ingenuity, determination, and the country's will to stand against the odds. Despite its limitations and the difficulties it faced, it had a significant impact on the course of World War II in the Pacific. Today, only a handful of Zeros remain in flying condition. These carefully restored aircraft, serve as a tangible reminder of a time, when the world was engulfed in war and stand as a symbol of the incredible advances in aviation technology that were spurred by the conflict.